has a new style AI chip actually broken Moore's Law? Cerebrus has announced the WSE3, a TSMC-made 5 nanometer chip almost the size of a 12-inch wafer with 4 trillion transistors, up from 2.6 trillion in the WSE2, all for training AI models. Cerebrus is making the claim that this has broken Moore's Law in a sense. Quoting ZDNet, The race for ever larger generative artificial intelligence models continues to fuel the chip industry. Cerebrus released the WSE2 in April 2021. Its successor, the WSE3, is designed for training AI models, meaning refining their neural weights or parameters to optimize their functionality before they are put into production. It's twice the performance, same power draw, same price, so this would be a true Moore's Law step, and we haven't seen that in a long time in our industry, Cerebrus co-founder and CEO. Andrew Feldman said in a press briefing for the chip, referring to the decades-old rule that chip circuitry doubles roughly every 18 months. The WSE doubles the rate of instructions carried out from 62.5 petaflops to 125 petaflops, the size of almost an entire 12-inch wafer. Like its predecessor, the WSE has shrunk its transistors from 7 nanometers, 7 billionths of a meter, to 5 nanometers, boosting the transistor count from 2.6 trillion transistors in the WSE2 to 4 trillion. TSMC, the world's largest contract chip maker, is manufacturing the WSE3. As with the prior two chip generations, Feldman compared the WSE's enormous size to the current standard from NVIDIA, in this case the H100 GPU, which he called this poor sad part here in a slide deck image. It's 57 times larger. Feldman said, comparing the WSE against NVIDIA's H100, it's got 52 times more cores, it's got 800 times more memory on chip, it's got 7,000 times more memory bandwidth, and more than 3,700 times more fabric bandwidth. These are the underpinnings of performance, end quote. Feldman said a new CS3 computer equipped with the WSE was capable of managing a hypothetical language model of 24 trillion parameters. That surpasses current leading generative AI technologies, including OpenAI's GPT-4, which is believed to have around 1 trillion parameters. Feldman also emphasized the user-friendliness of programming the Cerebrus machine compared to traditional GPUs. He said that training GPT-3 with its 175 billion parameters on a GPU demands over 20,000 lines of code in multiple languages including Python, C, C++, etc. In contrast, the WSE3 requires merely 565 lines of code. Feldman also showcased the CS3's efficiency in training large language models by comparing it to existing AI training clusters. Specifically, he claimed that a group of 2,048 CS3 units could train Meta's 70 billion parameter LAMA2 model 30 times quicker than Meta's current setup, reducing training time from 30 days to just one. Wild. More details from the unveiling. Feldman says they are working on a cluster of 64 CS3 machines and that, like NVIDIA, they are selling everything they can make at the moment. Demand is through the roof. Cerebrus also announced a partnership with Qualcomm to drive down the cost of inference. They're doing this in clever ways, like using sparsity to eliminate 80% of unnecessary computation and speculative decoding, essentially using smaller versions of an LLM to make predictions which are then checked for accuracy by the bigger version of the model. The expectation is that AI development will increasingly pivot toward the inference market as the application of inference leaves behind data centers to encompass a broader range of edge devices. I believe that more and more the easy inference will go to the edge, and Qualcomm has a real advantage there, Feldman said. 